Hey there guys, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Skylar Personal Size Quintel in goat skin leather. So I've got two of the Quintels here with me. I've got the black goat skin and then I've got this beautiful dark green goat skin, Personal Size Quintel. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Boom, there you go. This thing is a work of art. It's very beautiful. I love the color of the goat skin. It's not too distracting, it's not too up in your face, but it is a beautiful dark olive green with a goat skin cover. So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the green one. I've only seen one other review on YouTube, so I thought this might be good for those who are interested in the green co uh, color. But this is the black one, um, both very good Bibles. This right here is going to be my everyday carry, the black one. I'm going to um, use this as my everyday carry Bible to go to work, studies, ministry, stuff like that. And I'll get into that um, shortly and the features that this Bible brings. Let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful olive green Schuyler personal size Quintel. So upon opening the Bible, you've got a brown calfskin liner with art gilting around the edges here and a gold ribbon. I love the brown um, calf skin and the color contrast this has with the green. This cover is super soft, very, very soft. I love the grain of the goat skin on this, on this Bible. And I love the Jerusalem cross there. That's uh, Skylar's symbol, which you see on the spine here. Now the spine has five raised hubs. They're not too um, they're not too distracting, but they're but they're beautiful and they're there, very smooth. This Bible right here is what I would call somewhat of a compact Bible. Um, there's my hand. This Bible is hand sized, and just as a comparison, I've got the Pit Minion by Cambridge. So as you can tell, the PSQ is just a little bit bigger. Stack them on top, it's a little bit taller, a little bit wider, a little bit thicker than the Pit Minion, but still around the same size. And we'll look more at the Pit Minion here soon. And this right here is the Cambridge Clarion. I'm a big Cambridge fan. Um, this one is in black goat skin. There's a review on my page of this Bible if you want to check that out. So these are roughly the same size as well. Um, the Cambridge is a little bit um, has a little bit more width to it, while the PSQ is a little taller. But they're both hand-sized Bibles, and I love hand-sized Bibles. Um, they sit in your hand perfectly. They're very good for on-the-go um, preaching, teaching, studying, stuff like that. So, that's the size. Now, this is edge-lined, as you can tell. So, that's a beautiful thing. Go ahead and opening it up. you got some blank pages here. And then you've got your presentation page. I love your presentation page. Um, it's very simple, similar to, to Cambridge. It's got your presented to, for, and from, and um, the date that it was presented. And then you've got your Holy Bible page. Now, this Bible, if you're looking at your publishing sheet, was designed and presented in Denmark. Oh, I'm sorry, designed in and typeset it in Denmark. It was printed and bound by Youngblood, by Youngblood in the Netherlands. Netherlands, um, all these Bibles that were bound and printed in the Netherlands, Cambridge, Schuyler, some crossways, that they do beautiful work over there. Um, always great text blocks, always great um, goatskin covers. Everything, everything about them is good. And this Bible has 28 GSM, indo pick paper it has line matching and we'll get to that shortly 
But here is your contents. Books of the Bible. It's got what pages the text is on. You got your preface into the ESV study, ESV Bible, not just, um, and then opens right up to Genesis. Now this is a double column format with your index or your uh, reference suite down there at the bottom, which is different. It's different for me. Um, I'm used to a center column reference suite or on the inner margins, but this one is the bottom. So it takes some getting used to. Now one thing that I think is cool, um, let's get to a good example here. We'll go to the New Testament. Let's go to Micah. So your chapter numbers are in red. It's a dark red. And then you've got your references numbers down here also in red. So that helps you find um, references pretty easily. Um, I, I have only been using this Bible for about a day, but it's already a benefit. I took this to Bible study last night, and it's been a benefit to me to be able to find references easy. Now, like I said, this Bible is line matched. Now that we are in Micah, um, you can see a little bit of ghosting, but that's just common for these prophetic books as well as Psalms, Proverbs, and all that. But when you get to the New Testament, um, ghosting is very, very minimal as it is line matched. So that's a great thing. Now this is a black letter text. So there's no uh, red letters for the words in Christ. Um, flipping through it, you just got a beautiful presentation. Um, I This Bible is great for reading. The text is very clear. Um, it's very readable. It's very easy on the eyes with the size of the text. Um, let me see what the size of the text is. I think it's 7.5 7 font. Let me see. It says. Well, I'm not showing it. Um, but it is a good size font to read as well as to study. So flipping through to the back of the Bible, you do have um, you do not have a concordance in this Bible. You have your tables of weights and measurements, which is something I feel like they could do without. I've never used that in a Bible personally. But that's just me. Here you got your abbreviations page for each of the books of the Bible. And then what I love is they give you blank note paper in the back. It's, it's your thin Bible paper. It's not any kind of card stock or it's not any, any um, special thickness. It is your basic um, Bible paper throughout the Bible. But it is a benefit to have this note paper back here. That's something you don't find in most Bibles. It is in the Cambridge wide margin and a few other wide margin Bibles, but not anything like this. This is a, a special, compact, personal size Bible, and for them to have note paper in there is pretty awesome. So you got your Skylar Bible maps here. Their Bible maps are awesome. Uh, they're on par with Cambridge. I love Cambridge Bible maps, but this, these are pretty cool too. It's got the ministry of Jesus. And then to finish off the Bible, you've got some more blank pages of paper with your card stock towards the back. So this Bible is very good for Bible study. Um, it's very good for personal use, personal reading on the go. Just to compare it a little bit more with the Pit Minion, I want to show you guys the, the, the text size. So there's your Pit Minion on the left. And then here's your Skylar Personal Size Quintel. So you can see there's a, a considerable difference in the in the text size. Now, the uh, Pit Minion is definitely uh, readable for me, at least. I read this pretty often throughout the day, make some notes in it. Um, it is very small, but it's very readable. While the Skylar is also double column, the text is 
quite larger. And um, if you have if you have trouble seeing or trouble reading, this would be the Bible for you. If you want something the size of the Pit Minion, um, it's not much thicker. It's about the same height and width. Um, so definitely check that out. Now this Bible doesn't come with any note paper. It does come with concordance, so that's kind of a benefit for this one. And looking at the Cambridge Clarion now, you'll notice that this Bible is a single column reference suite on the outer margins. So if you like um, single columns, this is also a great Bible, um, great reading Bible, great study Bible. I found some pretty good use out of this one. But this this uh, personal size Quintel really has a lot of good benefits. I really do believe that. Um, I like that the reference suite is down at the bottom here, kind of out of the way, uh, making this a great reader's Bible. So yeah, guys, um, I'm, I'm very thankful for these Bibles. I plan on giving this one away. As I said before, this is my everyday carry Bible, this black one. Um, I've got some information in it already. I got some prayers in the back here started up some um, verses concerning peace, holiness, um, love, salvation, stuff like that. This will be my, this will be my everyday carry Bible. But yeah guys, if you wanted to get either one of these Bibles, I'll put a link down below in the comment section. I got these Bibles at evangelicalbible.com. Your premium source for Bibles. And there's the website right there. They've got ESV, NASB, New King James Version, King James Version, NIV, CSB, and NLT. They've got all you need for premium Bibles. Go ahead and check them out. I really appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to like or subscribe for more content, that would be awesome. It would really help me out. Until the next video, guys, I hope you have a blessed day and just glorify Jesus. He loves you so much. He is for you. And he longs for you to know him at a personal deep level. So continue seeking him and he will reveal himself to you. God bless you.